Hi everyone, Miss Stewie here. Let's play a good old fashioned game of tag. You are it and Ozobot is going to try to stay away by moving in different directions depending on where you are going to try to tag it. For today's lesson, you will need an Ozobot, fully charged and calibrated, and the Ozoblockly editor. Today, we'll be working in level three. After today's lesson, you will be able to define a conditional statement as it relates to computer science. Build a block-based code using conditionals to program your bot to respond to different motion inputs and demonstrate conditionals in action with your bot. A conditional is a feature of a programming language that performs different actions or outcomes depending on whether a certain condition is true or false. Simply put, a conditional is if-then logic, similar to cause and effect. A conditional can also be called a conditional statement, a conditional expression, or a conditional construct. Let's think about conditionals in real life. You experience conditionals every day. If your alarm clock goes off, then you wake up. If you are in math class, then you take out your pencil and your calculator. If you don't clean your room, then you get in trouble. If your cell phone battery is at 0%, then your cell phone will turn off. If it is cold outside, then you put on a jacket. Let's get started. Open up Ozo Blockly and click on level three. You will build a program for your bot to respond to the motions of your hands using its proximity sensors. Let's begin with the first code in the program to instruct your bot to skate very fast backward, then play a happy sound if an object like your hand is placed in front of the bot. To find the first block for your sequence, you will go to the sensors in the block panel. Click the if object in front do block and drag it into your workspace. This block will begin the first conditional. If an object is in front of the proximity sensors on the front of the bot, then the bot is going to move and make a sound. Since the bot is going to move next, you are going to go to movement. Click the skate medium forward block and drag it inside the conditional. Then use the drop down menu on the block to change the block to skate very fast backward. Now you will go to sounds and click on the play happy block. Drag the block into your code below the skate block. Finally, in order for a conditional to continuously be checked, you will need a forever loop. The forever loop will program your bot to always check to see when the condition is true or an object is in front of it. Otherwise, when you run the program, the bot will quickly check if an object is in front and nothing will happen. You will go to loops and click on a repeat forever block. Drag the block above the if object in front to wrap the loop around the entire sequence. Can you build the first conditional for your bot to follow? Then test out your program by clicking Run Program and moving your hand in front of the bot. Next, you will create a second conditional similar to the first. The second code in the program will instruct your bot to skate very fast forward, then play a laugh sound if an object, like your hand, is placed behind the bot. To find the first block in your sequence, you will go back to sensors in the block panel. Click the if object behind block and drag it in your workspace. This block will begin the second conditional. If an object is behind the proximity sensors on the back of the bot, then the bot is going to move and make a sound. Since the bot is going to move next, you are going to go to movement. 
Click the Skate Medium Forward block and drag it inside the conditional. Then use the drop down menu on the block to change the block to skate very fast forward. Now go to sounds and click on the play happy block. Drag the block into your code below the skate block. Then use the drop down menu to change the block to laugh. Finally, Click and drag the entire sequence inside the loop underneath the first conditional. Can you build the second conditional for your bot to follow? Then test out your program by clicking Run Program and moving your hand behind the bot. Now you will create a third conditional to program your bot to move in a circle fast if objects, like your hands, are placed in front and behind the bot. To find the first block for your sequence, you will go back to the sensors in the block panel. Click the if object in front and if object behind block and drag it into your workspace. This block will begin the third conditional. If an object is in front of the proximity sensors on the front of the bot and an object is behind the proximity sensors on the back of the bot, then the bot is going to move and make a sound. Since the bot is going to move next, you are going to go to movement. Click the small circle medium forward left one second block and drag it inside the conditional. Then use the drop down menu on the block to change the block to small circle, very fast forward, left five seconds. Now go to sounds and click play sound happy block. Drag the block into your code below the small circle block. Then use the drop down menu to change the block to surprised. Finally, click and drag to move the entire sequence inside the loop above the first conditional. Can you build the third conditional for your bot to follow? Then test out your program by clicking Run Program and placing one hand in front of the bot and the other hand behind the bot at the same time. Finally, play tag with your bot. Let's watch my bot in action. I am going to click Run Program to see all of my conditionals in action. If I try to tag the bot from the front, it skates backwards quickly and makes a sound. If I try to tag my bot from the back, it skates forward quickly and makes a sound. If I try to surround my bot in the front and the back, it moves in a circle and makes a sound. Can you run your program to see all three conditionals in action? Check your work. Does your program have three different conditionals? Are the conditionals in the correct sequence? Does your program have a forever loop? Does your bot follow the conditionals in action? If you're looking for more to do, you can use the sensor blocks to program your own three conditionals. Write statements to show three to five conditional statements in real life, or build a program to show your bot mimicking a real life conditional.